What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be giving you a couple of my top tips for keeping your PC clean and tidy. So, you know, your PC is a relatively expensive item, right? So you should be treating it with care, just like you would kind of like your car or something uh, like that, so that it performs as it should at all times. And now, this isn't gonna be just like a, take a can of like this and just spray it and go crazy. You know, this it's not gonna be that kind of video, of course, you do need to take a, ca a canned air and actually use it, but I'm gonna go a little bit further and give you some tips on a few other things I like to do to keep my PC in top shape since I use it on a daily basis. So let's go ahead and roll our intro and we'll get right into it. Let's go. Okay, so I know you guys have your cans of uh, canned air ready and uh, you're ready to go, but just stop right there. The first thing we need to do before we start diving into cleaning our PC is make sure that we save any work that we may be working on on our PC, close our programs, and then completely shut off our computer and unplug it from your electrical outlet or a surge protector or just unplug your actual connector that goes to your power supply. Very important, we don't wanna fry anything, we don't wanna hurt any other components while we're simply just trying to clean our PC out to keep it running as it should. And now that we've done that, let's go ahead and open up our computer's case so we have access to its internal components and all fan filters. Now this may require you to take off the front panel as well so you can access that front fan filter. So don't be scared of doing that, just make sure you get all those filters out so we can clean them off. And now after we've uh, taken everything apart basically and all the panels off, we can gain access to all of our fan filters and begin cleaning. So now get your can of compressed air and you can start dusting the internal components of your computer with short bursts of air. So try to remain at least you know a few inches away from the surface of the motherboard, memory processor and expansion cards or any other uh, components of your computer just to make sure that you don't get any uh, of the weird spray that may happen. Uh, I did this a couple of times on accident. Don't be scared, it's not gonna hurt anything really, uh, but just try to prevent that if you can. So now that we've gotten our fan filters removed and cleaned, we can then clean the fans themselves. So uh, you can remove the dust buildup on your case fans uh, with the can of compressed air again. Uh, and then you can also use your finger to hold the fan to keep it from spinning around every time you spray it and just spray one uh, spot. And then you can actually use a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and some cotton swabs uh, to actually clean the fine edges of the blades. But uh, I didn't have any in this video, so I just used my microfiber cloth and I just went around each blade and cleaned it off. Uh, it's one of those, you know, little, little subtle mini, uh, mini touches that you can do because it won't be spinning and dragging a bunch of dust everywhere. Uh, if the fans are hard to reach or extremely dirty, feel free to actually take them out of the case and clean them outside the case because it may be a little bit easier for you. Okay, so now this is where we get to the part where it does not just require a uh, can of uh, compressed air, it requires a little bit more. So the heatsink that is on top of your processor should also be cleaned. And you can do that with a, a can of compressed air if you have an air filter. Uh, same process applies, blow the dust away from the uh, the fans and the actual heatsink itself. Um, and it's basically the same as what I just told you. But if you do have an AIO liquid cooler like I do in my build, uh, you're gonna have to do things like just a little bit differently. It's a little bit easier actually, but uh, the process is sim similar as far as this stuff goes. So you basically need to remove the heatsink from the processor and I'm gonna basically clean off both the processor and the heatsink with my Arctic Silver Arctic Clean kit. Uh, if you do not own this kit, 99% uh, isopropyl alcohol can also be used to clean the thermal compound off as well. Uh, you then apply that uh, either the alcohol or your cleaning kit like I have to a lint-free cloth, or you can actually take that cleaning kit that I use and apply it straight to the heatsink and the processor. Um, and then you use something like a lint-free cloth or a coffee filter to wipe the thermal compound off of the processor and the heatsink and clean it nice and tidy.
So then after I do that, I reapply some new thermal compound on the top of a processor about you know a size of a grain of rice or something like that. There's a couple different methods that people use, but I have stuck to this and I find that it works just fine. And after that, I then reattach the heat sink to my motherboard and I'm done. So this is great to do with the air cool setup if you have that as well. And again, like I said, the process is relatively the same as far as cleaning off the heat sink and the processor and reattaching it. Now keep in mind guys, you can also apply new thermal paste uh, to your graphics card. You can take that apart, but because I just got a new GPU sent to me from EVGA, I did not need, feel the need to do that. But just keep in mind, you guys can also do that and actually clean out your graphics card as well. I simply just took my can air and cleaned out the fans and made sure that those fans were nice and clean. Okay, so finally, go ahead and take your canned air and your microfiber cloth or whatever you're using to dust off all of your exterior vents, your IO, everything like that, and uh, make sure you go ahead and get those things wiped clean. And if you do have tempered glass panels like I do, get some glass cleaner and your microfiber towel and wipe those things clean or just some paper towels actually. I ended up using that in this. Uh, and then keep an eye out for any extra cable management you may have in your case because this is a good time to actually fix that and rearrange everything, uh, especially since the case is open. And then see if you have any accessories that you may need to replace or anything like that, like fans, RGB strips, fan hubs, etc. cetera. Uh, it's a great time to do that because you have everything open and apart. Um, and then, you know, once those things are reinstalled, you're pretty much ready to go and you can reinstall and reset up your computer. So to be honest guys, that's really it. Those are a couple of quick steps to clean your PC. If you uh, keep your PC on the ground or like on carpet, and I highly recommend that you do not do that because that opens up a whole world of a whole bunch of more problems. Uh, try to clean your computer every like six months or so. Uh, it's more frequent because you're gonna pick up a lot of dust from the floor. Um, but if your computer sits on your desk like mine does back here, uh, yearly intervals should be just fine and it should be way less frequent because you're not gonna get as much dust from a PC sitting on a desk like mine does. So that's gonna be it for this one, you guys. I just wanted to take a little bit of time to show you guys how I go about cleaning my PC. So hopefully you found something helpful in this video that you can use in your own cleaning routine. And if you did, remember to drop the video a like. I always love seeing that from you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, drop them in the comments section below. And of course, as always, all products that I used in this video will be linked in the description below. Anyway, I'm glad you guys came and checked out my video. If you really do enjoy my content uh, and wanna see more, consider getting subscribed and turning those notifications on so you can be the first to know when a new video or stream will be happening. Uh, but that's really it for me today, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Later.